What happens when you combine the region's best network with a plan that requires no money down on the phone you choose, but also allows you to upgrade to the latest and greatest phone quicker than the traditional contract? You get the Appalachian Advantage. Better service and bigger saving. Phone payment plan required. See store for details. Advantage requires no money down. Taxes due at time of sale. March 13, 2018 will be a day the city of Pikeville will never forget. The day Scotty Hamilton, a 14-year veteran of the Pikeville Police Department, was murdered. You know, the call I received was that, you know, we had had an officer out with a KSP trooper somewhere on Hurricane. We didn't know a specific address or anything. And that, you know, they'd heard gunshots and hadn't been able to get a hold of our officer. So you're th always trying to think positive and thinking the best. But you know the worst is probably waiting on you. It's with a heavy heart the city of Pikeville has announced that uh, Officer Scotty Hamilton was shot and killed tonight in the line of duty. For the next two days, an intense manhunt was conducted for 55-year-old John Russell Hall, the man police believed was responsible. He was captured on March 15th. The only thing I heard on the radio is, we've got him. You know, that's, that's what came across our radio. Is, uh, and then we immediately sent it out on a CAD text to everybody, letting them know he'd been captured. From that point on, Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley kept the case at the top of his priority list, ending with a guilty plea and a sentence of life without parole for John Russell Hall on December 19th. That's amazing that within a seven-month period that, you know, the sentence is carried out and he's behind bars. You know, it's soothing for the family. It's going to be soothing for his daughter later on down the road. His days are going to be spent in prison until they take him out of there. Also in the courtroom for the sentencing was Scotty Hamilton's widow, Chelsea. I will probably never have closure. Um, we're going to have to live with this the rest of our life, but um, I'm glad to know that he is not out on the streets and that my, hus my husband did get justice. Today was hard, but I'm glad that it's over and uh, me and Brindley, my daughter, can go on with our lives the best we can, and that's what Scotty would have wanted. And as the community pauses to remember what happened a year ago today, everyone who knew Scotty Hamilton says his presence is definitely felt. When he's looking above us, over there looking down on us, that's, he knows we're doing our job, so I know it's what he would want. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.